I got it all figured out with Instacart, so I've started doing that one as well. And today I'm going to be telling you the pros and cons of Instacart. Hi, my name is Lori and I'm the Nebraska Lady Driver. I do videos about my experiences driving for Uber and Lyft and also food delivery and now Instacart. If you like what you see today, go ahead and hit the like button and then subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. So first of all, at first I tried to sign up for Instacart before and I couldn't get into it because I live in a different city. So I finally emailed them and we got it all figured out. They changed my zone so I can actually deliver for Instacart now. So far, I haven't done it a whole lot, but what I know of it, I'm gonna be sharing with you. Some of the things that I really like about Instacart, the first thing I would say is, while you're in the store getting the order prepared, you're not wasting gas. I'm still getting paid and all I'm doing is grocery shopping. How hard is that? I mean, sometimes it can be a little bit difficult if there's items that I'm not familiar with or a store that I'm not familiar with. But overall, I mean, you can ask the people working at the store where the item is if you don't know. But generally speaking, it's been really good and pretty easy. I mean, all I had to do is go grocery shopping and then deliver it to the customer. So that's the stuff we do anyway. Another thing that I've really been enjoying is that there's really nice people that I've been delivering to. I delivered to a daycare lady one day. The customers are really super nice. And along with that, Instacart does an automatic tip. So when the person does their order, they have to tip you a certain percentage when they place their order. And then they can add more of a tip if they wish later on. Another thing is a lot like Uber and Lyft and all the others, you can work when you wanna work. They do ask you to schedule in advance, but I've really not been having any trouble lately getting us a, a good schedule on there. So it's really been a good experience. Now for the cons. One of the things is you do have to schedule in advance. They do not allow you to just sign on anytime you want. So that is a con. You do have to think ahead, know what you got going on the next week and see when you can work. And there's not always the time slot available that you want. So you just kind of have to work around what with what it is. Another con is, as far as scheduling, when I first started, maybe it was just because of the craze of everybody wanting to do Instacart, because it, it has changed a little bit now. But at first, I could not get any shifts scheduled. So it was really difficult to get any shifts. But now I've been able to get at least once a week. I schedule a shift so it's not too bad sometimes it's slow you just kind of have to park and wait for the little turtle to show up and then it will allow you to sign off if it's if that comes up otherwise it will go against you if you sign off if an, and it's not slow my overall take on this I really like it because if you say make $40 on one grocery trip in that time, maybe I might have made $40 on another app, but I'm not wasting the gas. So that is a definite positive right there. I'm taking home more money than I was with other apps. Another thing that I really enjoy about it, like I mentioned before, is the people. And I don't have to have them in my car. And I really do enjoy helping taking the groceries in. And thank goodness, I don't have to put them away. I did have one bad experience. There was a store that I'm gonna try to never go to again. Their, their customer service was just awful. I'd never been there in my life. 
and it was just a really bad experience. However, whenever I've been at any other store and I couldn't find something, I go and I find somebody that works there and they will take me right to the item or at least tell me which aisle it's in. So that's been a really good experience. And when I can't find something, I try to go on and look through the list and get everything else that I need before looking for those other items. That way, if there's three things I can't find, I can just go and say, hey, I can't find this or this and this, and they tell me where they are. But overall, I've really had good experiences with the people at the store and the customers. Now, just another couple of things to note with Instacart. First of all, I really like this feature. When you are given an offer of a batch, that's what they call it, uh, for, with an order for Instacart, you will be shown on the screen how much you will make. Like I got an order a little while ago. The order had like maybe 10 items on it total, and that includes multiples. So it said like, Right away it said like seven items and then it said the, the item quantity including the multiples and then it said that I would make about $15. It had an exact figure on there. That's a feature I really like because, and it, it includes the tip, but I always end up making more than that. I ended up getting $17 for that batch. So that is another good thing about Instacart. I really like that it tells you exactly how much you're gonna make, or at least approximately what it will be. That you will never be under the amount that they give you. Now one last thing to know with Instacart is, if you have a longer shift, say you sign up for a five hour shift and it's slow, you might be stuck on it for a while. So there is an option to sign out for a 20 minute break. I have not used that. So I have kind of considered if it's really slow and I can't sign out yet, that maybe like turn on Postmates and take an order and then sign out for a 20 minute break on Instacart. I really haven't done that, but I've been thinking about trying it out sometime. Otherwise, you just kind of have to sit and wait. So that is a bad thing about Instacart. If it's not busy, you pretty much just have to sit there and wait it out until either your shift ends if you're getting close or you uh, give, are given the offer to sign out early. Now, previously I've done two or three hour shifts at a time and it seems like I'm just sitting there for maybe 10 minutes and then it'll offer me to sign out if it's not busy. So that is something I think maybe if you have shorter shifts, you'll get offered to sign out quicker. Oh, and another thing is they will notify you on your phone 30 minutes prior to your shift. And so if you did forget for some reason or whatever, maybe you got busy and lost track of time, you will see that notification on your phone 30 minutes before your shift starts. And then you just turn on the app when the time of your shift is and it automatically just signs you in and starts sending you offers. I'll go over the ins and outs of Instacart in a later video to give you a better idea of what, how, how it works. In a future video, I'll be sharing with you more about the tips and tricks that I'm learning along the way. If you'd like to sign up and try Instacart, go ahead and go to the link down below on my website and you can check it out for yourself. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you will be notified each time I upload a new video. Until next time, be safe out there.